my mom was a, in education, single, uh, two boys and two, uh, two children at this private school. And there was, there was, I mean, there was absolutely no way that we could afford that. But being seventh grade, I didn't ask questions. You know, I'm going to this awesome place and I was having a great time. I played sports and, and did all those things. But as time went along and, and, and realizing that, hey, that's tough. And, and, and where's this money coming from? And it's at that time I realized that, that my family was a recipient of, of financial aid through uh, donors, people here in Jackson that just cared enough about, you know, two boys that they had grown to know and love and, uh, and wanted to help see succeed. And it was, um, you know, one of those things that has stuck with me for, for all the time and, and realizing that, hey, someone gave to me so that I could be more. And, and, and that's, you know, played forward in my life as far as wanting to give to others so that they can be more. It was, um, you know, realizing that was, uh, was huge for me. So the one thing I would want to tell you about giving to someone, whether you know that person or, or not, um, I was this kid that probably just, I wouldn't have had the opportunity. It just would not have happened. Um, and because I was at Jackson Christian, I was given that love, the attention, um, the habits that I still use today. It's what carried me through college. It's what carried me through medical school. And it what still carries me today. Like it's still, those, those, those simple, basic life habits that I learned at JCS um, made the difference that carried me from Henderson, Tennessee to, to Boston um, and back here in Nashville. Those things have, have stayed with me that whole time. So when you, when you think about giving of, of yourself in that way monetarily, um, you, may never, you may never know that person. Uh, but I'm here to tell you uh, that you'll make a huge difference for them.